Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig's Sports. Today is Wednesday, April 28th. We're going to be talking about some DFS picks on both DraftKings and FanDuel. But before we get started, we're going to take a quick look back at yesterday's picks and see how they turned out. So on the DraftKings side, we had Kevin Porter Jr. $6,500. Looking for about 32, 33 points at him. Got to 23, so he was a miss. He shot 2 out of 12 yesterday. Just didn't play that good in his first game back overall. Marcus Smart. $6,600 looking for 33 points out of him, got to 32, so he was a just miss, honestly. Four out of 17, not the best shooting day out of him overall. Then Tim Hardaway Jr., $4,400, looking for 22 points out of him, got to 24.25, so he was a hit. Kevin Durant, $8,300, mentioned this is probably going to be the best price you're going to get him at all season. Looking for 41, 42 points out of him, got to 45, so he was a hit. Then Kevon Looney, $3,800, you know, pay down price at center. We were looking for about 19, 20 points at him, got to 10 and a half. So he's a mess, but he only ended up playing 21 minutes yesterday overall. So not the best day on the DraftKings side. Definitely could have been worse, though. But then we'll move over to the FanDuel side. We have Malcolm Brogdon, $8,500, looking for 42, 43 points at him, got to 25.8. Not a good day for him overall. Only played 28 minutes. This game ended up in a blowout, so that did affect him as well. Then Marcus Smart at shooting guard, $6,600. Looking for 33 points at him. Got to 35, so he was a hit. Then Kevin Porter Jr., $5,600. Looking for 28 points at him. Got to 20.3, so he was a mess, like I mentioned, on the DraftKings side. 2 out of 12 shooting in his first game back. Just a rough game for him overall. Then a power forward, Kem Birch, $4,900. Looking for 24, 25 points out of him. Got to 34.3, so he was a pretty good hit yesterday. And then Kevon Looney was a miss once again, $3,900, looking for 19, 20 points out of him. Got to 11.3, so he was a miss, like we mentioned, on the DraftKings side already. So, kind of a hit or miss day overall. Tried to do a little bit better today, and with that being said, we'll get into the injuries for today's slate. So we'll start off with the Magic and the Cavaliers. Otto Porter Jr., Michael Carter-Williams, both out once again. Terrence Ross looking like he's not going to play. James Ennis is a game-time decision. Mo Wagner is a game-time decision who must have recently joined the team. Then for the Cleveland Cavaliers, they're going to be without Matthew Del Vadova, Hartenstein, Sexton, and Lamar Stevens. So pretty similar to the last time out. I do believe that they get Larry Nance Jr. back, though. Then for the Hawks, you know, we got Trey Young, Tony Snell, Cam Reddish, DeAndre Hunter still out. Kevin Herter looking like he's not going to play. Brandon Goodwin is a game-time decision as well. So definitely a lineup to keep some eyes out on, especially going into closer to the lock. Then for the Philadelphia 76ers, Mike's got his game time decision. He did miss the last time out. For the Charlotte Hornets, same four guys out as the last time out. Then we move over to Celtics. Kemba Walker out once again. Robert Williams and Jason Tatum are both game time decisions. We'll see if they end up playing or not. Then the Bulls just have Troy Brown Jr. and Zach Levine out once again. Knicks just have Alex Burks and Mitchell Robinson out once again, so no changes for both those teams. For the Lakers, Jared Dudley, LeBron James still out. Then they have Caruso, Schroeder, Marcus All, Anthony Davis, and Caldwell Pope. All this is game time decisions. Just keep an eye out on those guys throughout the day. Then for the Wizards, just Robin Lopez as a game time decision. He did miss the last time out. For the San Antonio Spurs, we got Trey Lyles and Derek White out today. So looks like Lonnie Walker could be in that starting lineup. Maybe it's him. Maybe it's Devin Vassell. Could be Patty Mills, but unlikely. Then for the Miami Heat, Victor Oladipo out once again. Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero, both game time decisions. They both did miss yesterday. If they would both miss it once again today, Goran Dragic is looking like a very, very good play. Then for the New Orleans Pelicans, Josh Hart and Nikhil Alexander-Walker both still out. Steven Adams, game time decision. We'll see if he ends up playing after missing the last game out. Then James Johnson and D.D. Lozada are both game time decisions, but looking like they have a chance to play today. Nuggets are just without Will Barton and Monte Morris once again. Portland Trailblazers, pretty much all the way healthy, just Zach Collins out. Memphis Grizzlies are all the way healthy. Then we move down to the Clippers. Patrick Beverly, Serge Ibaka out once again. Kawhi Leonard, game time decision, unlikely to play. And then Nick Batoon and Amir Coffey are both game time decisions as well. Then we move over to the Phoenix Suns. Nader's out once again. Jay Crowder, game time decision. We'll see if he plays. And then Sarge, game time decision, but looking like he's got a chance to play today. Then the Jazz are without Mitchell, Conley, and Azabuki. So Conley's obviously the newest one there. So Jordan Clarkson, Joe Ingles getting a lot of value today. Then for the Kings, De'Aaron Fox is out once again. Woodard. Barnes and Bagley are all game time decisions. We'll see who ends up playing out of that trio. 
But that's a quick, quick little rundown on all the games for today's slate. I believe it's a 10-game slate overall in total, so definitely going to have some value options available as the day moves along. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to DraftKings and talk about my picks over there. So we're going to start off with the point guard position. I got Goran Dragic. I'm just assuming Kendrick Nunn and Tyler Hero both don't play today. If they end up playing, this pick will obviously change. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that throughout the day. $5,400. Looking for 27 points out of him. If he's in that starting lap, if he's getting all those minutes, probably a shoe in for 30 points today. Then going right back to Marcus Smart today. Not the best game for him yesterday, but you know. He either hit or he was really close on both sides, $6,700, $100 more than yesterday. 33, 34 points is what you're looking for out of him. Goes against the Charlotte Hornets. Should be a pretty good matchup for him overall. And if he just does a little bit more than he did yesterday, definitely going to pay off for that price tag. Then a small forward, we got Lonnie Walker, $3,600, looking for 18 points out of him. That's what he's averaging on the season. Likely to be in that starting lineup. If he's in that starting lineup, getting the minutes, definitely going to outperform his price tag. Then Chumo Kiki, who we did play the last time he played, $4,900, looking for 24, 25 points out of him. He had 31, I believe, the last time, so definitely paid off. Same price tag, didn't move at all. As long as he's getting the usage, as long as he's getting the minutes, he's definitely going to be in play once again. And then we got Willie Herman Gomez. I don't think Steven Adams plays again today, so if he doesn't play and Herman Gomez is playing, $4,200, looking for 21 points out of him. He's definitely going to outperform that price tag. But if you go with these five players on DraftKings for today, you'll have $25,200 left over, $8,400 per player. So definitely a lot of room to be flexible, whether you want to pay up for some guys and then find some value picks. If you want to spread the wealth, just quite a bit of different options there available for you today. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to FanDuel and talk about my picks over there as well. So at the point guard position, we're going with Groran Dragic once again. $5,000 $5,000 looking for 25 points out of him. Like I said on the DraftKings side, if none and Hero are both not playing, he's going to get the minutes. He's going to get the usage. He's definitely going to outperform that $5,000 price tag. Then we move down to Jordan Clarkson at shooting guard, $6,300 looking for 31, 32 points out of him. Going to be starting today with no Mike Conley. Going to be getting big time minutes. Going against a Kings team that doesn't play very good defense to start with. So I think it's definitely a day that Jordan Clarkson can do very, very well. Then small forward, we got Rui Hachimuri, and $4,200 looking like a steal for a price tag. Looking for 21 points out of him, averaging 24 on the season. Came back the last game. He he did end up playing like 31 minutes in that game, so I'm not really too concerned about him coming back off that injury. So as long as he's playing the minutes, he's going to outperform that price tag once again today. Then at power forward, Chumo Kiki, $5,000. Pretty much kind of like what we said on DraftKings side, you know, outperformed his price tag last time pretty well. As long as he's getting the minutes, as long as he's getting the usage, He's going to be there for you guys today. Then last but not least, we got the center position, Jared Allen. $6,500. We're looking for about 32, 33 points out of him today. Averaging 32 on the season. Goes against a very good Orlando matchup for him overall. Centers have figured pretty well against Orlando in recent weeks. So definitely can't go wrong with Jared Allen today. But if you go with these five players on FanDuel for today, you have $33,000 remaining. Just over $8,200 per player. So a little bit of flexibility there. Kind of mix and match. Pick your spots where you want to pay up for some guys and play down for some guys that value spots. Definitely going to be a good day. A very interesting one. But with that being said, these are my picks for both FanDuel and DraftKings for today, April 28th. As always, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. Then with that being said, I'll be listing all the news, injury updates, and starting lineup. So definitely be sure to check that out throughout the day. And with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. It definitely helps build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports. And that's truly one for you, the viewers. Helping you guys with your DFS, whether it's NBA or NFL. Helping you guys with your fantasy football teams. Talking all the different football news this offseason, especially regarding the NFL draft. It starts tomorrow night. I'm very, very excited for the NFL draft overall. But with that being said, if you are a newer or current subscriber who's yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I put up a new video. And like I've been saying, I post up daily NBA DFS videos like this. Going to be releasing my top 10 tight ends in the NFL draft later on today. So if you guys are into the NFL draft, NFL draft content like that at all, please be sure to check that out as well as the running back, quarterback, and wide receiver videos I did put out in the last couple weeks as well. And then... If you guys are in NFL draft content, I will be doing 
a podcast tonight with some of my buddies at Cheat Code Sports. We're going to be doing a little bit of a mock draft. Once that's up, I'll let you guys know. Friday night, I'm going to be on the True North Fantasy Football a live stream for the uh, day two of the NFL draft. So be sure to check out their YouTube page. Links down in the description below. Great group of guys over there. They'll also be doing a day one live stream. I won't be on that one, but I'll definitely be on day two. And then day three, I'm probably going to try to do a live stream here myself. Uh, So if you guys are interested in day three, day three live stream, definitely be sure to check it out. And then probably going to go on a podcast after day three as well. So a lot of NFL draft content coming up this week. Very excited for it. It's going to be a very busy time, but definitely something that I do enjoy quite a bit. So if you guys are into that at all, definitely be sure to check all those out. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Hopefully you all do very well in NBA DFS tonight. And as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Definitely here to help you guys out the best that I can. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. Definitely appreciate you taking the time out of your day. It truly means a lot to me. And I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.